are the safety. Eric Pegram's in the backfield. Take a toss to him. Tom Zach finds nobody open, so runs out past the 30 to the 33-yard line and picks up a first down. He's going to be there for a lot of years to come. Morris behind a Williams block, and then he falls down in the baseball infield. Might have had the first down were it not for the area around where the second baseman would normally position himself with a floor on it before the game. First and ten from the... 43, Tomzak fires the open man is Charles Johnson and he pays the price. Gene Atkins for years, one of the hardest hitters in the league, does just that. Own defense is supposed to handle the crossing round. It is second and four from the 49 and the catch is made by the tight end Hayes at the 45 yard line and that's a first down. Hayes a long time chief now here with Eric Green going to Miami. Few things been there, done that. <laughs> And on second and eight, Earhart's call is to Morris straight up the middle, taking it to the 38-yard line. That'll set up a third down and three. This drive began back at the 22 of the Steelers. Make it five now, because nobody's in the backfield but Tom Zach out of the shotgun. And on third and three, it is tipped and picked off at the 20-yard line. Intercepted by J.D. Brown. Look out. And Brown has it at the 43-yard line, picks it back up, recovers his own fumble, and gives Miami possession. And, and Tom Zach were on different pages. Now Miami with its first possession from the 40-yard line. Dan Marino starts by gunning one to a wide-open McDuffie. And he takes it to the Steelers, 26-yard line. For Bam Morris slips running the ball. That time, Darren Perry slips trying to make a tackle. From the 25, Look out. Marino gets blindsided from behind Greg Lloyd, number 95, and that's been one of the storylines all week long. Greg Lloyd saying, among other things, last week, I'm going to knock Marino into next week. But in line, 8.25 left first quarter, the Dolphins on their first possession. Marino out of the shotgun. They blitz. And it's almost picked off on a pass intended for a Byers, Carnell Lake. On it. 37-yard attempt by Stoyanovich. That was not a good snap on the prior play by Ruddy. Forcing Marino to reach down for it, but a good snap and hold here. And Marino angry because the Dolphins on a drive he feels should have netted seven, settled for three. Three to drive at the 14-yard line in the waning moments of the quarter. Oh, and a terrible pass. Intercepted at the 21 by Troy Vincent. Not a stealer in sight. Nicky Harrison, of course, the owner of Carnival, also owns the Heat down here, and that rally is the Heat. Second and eight from the 15-yard line, and Keith Byers takes it to the two as he catches it over the middle of the first and goal for Miami. First and goal at the two, Bernie Parmalee. Cuts it back inside <laughs> and reaches and gets it. Touchdown. Oh, Bernie was hoping he wouldn't drop it. Interception. Subsequent touchdown by Parmalee and the Miami Dolphins take a 10 to nothing lead. Be impressed with his command of the game. Bill Cower will win in this league for a long time. Third and four and Tom Jack gets back back at the 36-yard line. Punch. Second and four from the 43. Tom Jack. And the first down catch made by Yancey Thigpen. And he gets rolled out of bounds at the 43-yard line by Chris Singleton. Drift off. Third down and eight now for the Steelers. Tom Zach trying to convert, and the catch is made at the 33-yard line, but appears to be a little short of the first down. Charles Johnson is there. Here by the Steelers. They've got Oliver Gibson, a defensive lineman in the backfield, leading the way for Bam Morris, who bans his way for a first down over the right side. He wasn't going to pay for it. On second and eight, the fake to Pegram. Tom Zach with a ton of time and makes it pay off as Johnson makes the catch at the 8-yard line. is tackled hard by Cox. Ball loose but after the play. And then Jonathan Hayes gets into it with Gene Atkins. Oh, yeah. Steelers trailing 10 to nothing. First and goal from the 7. And because of the dirt, Tom Zach goes down. 11th play of the drive, second and goal from the 15. The screen is set up. This is Morris. They block Cox out of the play. Flag 
Dog is down. He takes it to the four-yard line. Illegal contact against Pittsburgh. Get off the dirt uh, anywhere inside the 40-yard line on that end. Tom Zank throws. It's incomplete. He bounces one into the hands of Mark Bruner. Norm Johnson off the dirt with a strained abdominal muscle out of the Ron Stark hole, bangs it through. So too many different people. It'll yeah. come, though. From the 17, they give it to John L. Williams. He picks up a couple of... Oh, the 20-yard line loses the football. And... Jeff Cross of Miami has recovered! Well, on a scale of 1 to 10... Looks like the looks like it uh, was Trace Armstrong yeah. that got his hand on the ball. Another one, two timeouts for Marino. Second and seven. Pump fake pressure throws it away and it's incomplete. He was in the arms of Chad Brown. And Brown hurt again now. No grounding. Yep. Number thirteen. It's a ten-yard penalty. Loss of down. It'll be third down. Don't they have to get to the eleven to convert. The catch is made by Kirby. Touchdown. Be in this game. Let me see if he's the get. Yeah, see him 94. He's locked up one on one with Terry Kirby, and he's just no match with uh, trying to well, stay with Kirby. First of all, he's just been hurt. Yeah. The second, he could no way he's going to be able to stay with Kirby out of the backfield. Yeah, but you're paid to do that. It would only be 10 yards on a regional cut again. Yancey Thigpen is out of bounds up at the 46. They, they didn't get away with it. Steelers don't have a timeout, trying to at least get into field goal range. And the catch is made by John L. Williams, and he has to get out of bounds. I mean, that's got to be priority number one, and he does it. And John Elway throwing it. Right. They're looking for the penalty, and that's what they're going for. A prayer. Is it answered? No. Incomplete. Half end. And Pittsburgh turns the ball over three times, and each time Miami cashes in for two touchdowns and a field goal. And at the end of the first half in Miami, it's the Dolphins 17, the Steelers 3. And at the 35-yard line, Dan Marino back to throw. And a great catch made up at the 50-yard line, Eric Green. He was waiting for this moment. 85 or 290-pound tight end, Eric Green. From the 47, Terry Kirby. And Carnell Lake still can't bring him down. And Kirby fights his way for a first down. Steelers on the verge of getting blown out. Yeah. Marino throws, catch is made, and that is Eric Green making the second catch. And this is a pretty critical defensive stand for Pittsburgh here, already down by 14, just simultaneously dropped. Second and two, and a little misdirection, but they ran right into Lloyd and Green. And that's the wrong direction. Here he comes. They pick him up. Myers took him out of the play, and Marino converts on a catch by McDuffie. First down. Second and eight, Chad Brown not starting the second half. Jerry Osavsky taking his spot at linebacker and caught in the backfield by Ray Seals is Bernie Parmalee. Seals the third quarter. Key play for the Steelers. Lake on a blitz. They pick him up and the pass is caught by Kirby at the 21-yard line. And so Pittsburgh will limit Miami to a field goal attempt. Don Kidd holding Pete Stoyanovich to kick it. Former Indiana Hoosier boots it through. Miami's opening drive in the second half results in three. 9.38 left in the third. Miami 20, Pittsburgh 3. Usually is. Second to nine, Tom Zach under pressure, loses the football. It's a loose ball, Miami's got it. Stripped Four. by Chris Singleton, recovered by Tim Bowen. Sweep the blimp. What's the sequel? Deuce Ventura? Right. Third down and nine. Oh, and look out at Marino. Loses the football, and it is recovered by. Eventually, we'll get to call clearly Miami now because on fourth down, they spotted the 42. He's got a great leg, but he missed it to the right. 
Third and eight of the 14. Four and a half left, third quarter. 20 to three, Miami. I'll tell you one thing. The Steelers coming with a four-man rush. Getting nowhere with it. Irving Fryer getting a first down up at the 24-yard line. That's right. And that's blocking minus Keith Sims. Burt Widener gets plugged in at left guard and does the job. Here's Bernie Parmalee over the left side after the 33-yard line. Second and two, 34-yard line. Parmalee to the outside. And the flag comes in at the end of the play after he's been stopped for no game by Deion Figures. Chase makes the call. Five-yard face mask. 94 defense. Five-yard penalty will make it a first down. That hurts the period. Marino chase from the rear. Still gets it away. Mike Williams makes the catch. First down at the Steeler. Oh, Dan Marino still down. Ooh, Greg Dan Marino hit from behind, and he's telling his guys, stay away from me. Now, the good news is they grab Marino's right arm to pick him up, and he's leaning over, and he picked up his helmet, or attempted to with his right arm. And he has to come oh. out to one play. I think he'll be right back in. Six-yard line. And he goes right to the air and slings one that is caught near the first down marker by Irving Fryer. And he gives some grief to somebody along the Steelers' sideline. Tremendous play by Irving to get his feet down and concentrate on the ball coming in. Great line. Green sets up on the right side. Cozart goes to the right side. McDuffie slips the tackle. Oh, Shane McDuffie is out of bounds at the 23 and on the Dolphin first down. Pittsburgh better get Marino back in there. Getting, uh, that's the right arm, not the left arm. That was what we were concerned about. First and five, and that's a juggling catch by McDuffie and a little match that can take it to the 11-yard line. The starting quarterback gets, of course, during the week's work. Third and goal, Furby, and banged out of bounds at the five-yard line by Lloyd. So they get fourth down and goal at the five, and that'll set up a 22 or 23-yard field goal attempt. Yeah. 12-yard line. If Ben Wright would have been doing this game, he would have said he was giving him the business. <laughs> and the Dolphins continue to give the Steelers the business to the tune of 23 to 3. 12.54 left in the fourth. There goes Dan off the field, headed uh, up the tunnel, and this crowd knows who he is, too. Plays the position, but he hasn't been there very many times. Miller throws, catch is made by Hastings, and that's the first pass completed by a Michigan State quarterback in the National Football League in 19 years. Is that right? Since Earl Morrow threw one in 1976 for Don Schuller, right here. South Florida, think about Dan Marino. First and 25. Three, Fred McAfee. And he gets down at the 19-yard line. The football was that right in the center of her chest is where it hurt. Not his shoulders, not his arm, but right in the center of his chest. He said if he had to go back in the ball game and play, he could. With it. Hockey about ready to start here. Yeah. They're in training camp already, huh? Preseason underway, first and five. And Miller goes down in the arms of Tim Bowen. 40-yard line, under 10 minutes to play, 23-3. Miami. Miller guns one to a wide open Bernie Mills, and that's a first down at the 46. Well, Nick's friends and teammates up there to help him celebrate a, a lot of breakthroughs. Second and 10 at Hastings. Runs out of bounds at the 41 yard line. Third down and nine from the 46 yard line. And the catch is made by Yancey Digpen, and he's ridden to the turf just about at the first down marker. Huh? I'll say it again. This is a good-looking arm on Jim Miller. Yeah. Good game. If not, their next game is at Jacksonville on the 8th of October. Miller throws. 36-yard line. It's Hastings. And he's taken down at the 30. Gain of 5. 5-yard line. 7 and a half minutes to play. Miami 23. Pittsburgh 3. There's a little shovel toss to McAfee. And they're out at the 27-yard line. Obviously in a four-down situation, and they wouldn't be running the ball on third and ten. Fourth and two. Miller looking deep for Mills, and he makes the catch for the touchdown.
touchdown. He got position on J.B. Brown, and Pittsburgh is in the end zone for the first time tonight. I tell you, that is a pretty classy throw. Miami on the way here to try and to take as much time off the clock as they can, and Greg Lloyd tackles Furby about six yards behind the line of scrimmage with about six minutes to play. Bosar. And that's incomplete. And it will be fourth down. You know, if you know him, might be wanting to go back in. Second and ten. Hastings. He's inside the 40 to the 35-yard line. Well, if Pittsburgh scores a touchdown, that certainly will be a reason for Dan Marino to go back in. Miller throws again, 27-yard line, caught there by Johnny Barnes. Second and one, Miller. Under pressure, throws caught by Johnny Barnes. Just took himself out of the game. At the 12-yard line, Miller throws, and it's caught by Hastings at the 8-yard line. Six. At the 9-yard line. No, instead they're going to shovel it to McAfee, and he gets rammed down by Lewis Oliver. Shot. Can they stay in the game? No. INT. J.B. Brown picked it off, but it's going to be a touchback. There's no run back. Three interceptions, two fumbles, five turnovers for the Steelers. <laughs> and Terry Kirby for a gain of 22 after the 42-yard line. I guess once you're down on the ground, the, the official's just going to call it right there. Kirby seals knocks him down. Well, that truly is remarkable. Third down and nine. Yeah, one in the 70s and one in the 80s. And quality is tackled. And Pittsburgh does not have a timeout remaining. So it's Pittsburgh yards game in the fourth quarter. Third and ten. Miller throws. Hastings grabs it. We also oh, notice on that graphic. <laughs> that, one will be played with, that one will be played in the Supreme Court. <laughs> Second and 15. Back of it. Takes it to the 49. <laughs> Frank, you know, don't, waste, don't waste those lines <laughs> at, at 10 after 12 in the morning. I'm not uh, four rounds uh, together. <laughs> well, <laughs> Carmen will have a lot of company these days as McAfee takes it to the 38. Again, the news coming out tonight that the league's going to file suit against Jerry Jones to the second and 10. Hastings. <laughs> He's handling the stats, and George tells me it's fourth and five. And Miller's pass is good for eight. And he first down to Yancey Thigpen, but he... Nope, no flag was down. The Dolphins and the Kansas City Chiefs are now the only teams in the AFC with unbeaten records through three weeks of play. Just for the record, Miller is 18 of 29 <laughs> for 210 yards. Yeah. In about I'm 18 impressed. minutes, too. Of elapsed time. So the Dolphins, 3-0. The Steelers, 2-1, tied with Cincinnati and Cleveland for the top spot in the AFC Central. Next